people will push and push and push. I'm no exception. I will too, to get your way. You don't understand. God gets in the way so you can stay. God gets in the way so you can stay. You get pulled over for a speeding ticket. Why would you complain about it for years to come? You know, the Bible says, for you can take the speck out of your neighbor's eye, take the plank out of yours. Do you understand blessings in disguise? There's times you would get pulled over for a speeding ticket. There's times your car will break down. Your plans don't go through. God might be saving your life. The wrong person breaks up with you. The wrong person cheats on you. The wrong person doesn't want to be with you. How about that person is like terrible and harmful to you and your kids? You lose a job. God knows that job is going out of business. He doesn't want you on the flight. He doesn't want you someplace. But your plans, you will push, kick, scream, tooth and nail like a cat, scratching, yelling, murmuring, complaining. God knows the big picture. You don't need to know everything. The Bible says, my plans for you to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. What about that don't you want? Do you want your plans to come up null, come up negative, come up empty, failing? How do you think you know more than God? I don't understand that. You want to be your own God? All the train wrecks in your life, all the broken hearts. So you want what looks good, which is basically a mirage, a delusion, a masquerade, a bamboozle, you know, a hoodwink. You want to be with her. She's pretty. But what's her story? She's still married. She's been in multiple relationships. She does what she wants. She's in and out of uh, adultery. But, oh, I must have her. She looks pretty. Same for the woman. You want something that somebody else's coveting, envy, jealousy. You need God. These things. I need a new car. I need a better house. I need to move from my neighbors because I don't like them. I need to quit the job. I need new friends. Maybe the problem is you. You're going to find yourself wherever you go. You can't get away from you. The problems are in you you need to overcome. So once you give in to the temptation, next time you'll be twice as weak, twice as tempted, twice as likely to fail. You need God.